if y'all uh, back y'all up and give you a little different angle. By the way, I got a starter right here. I got this starter from from Mike when I got the uh, the hot rod stew baker. It's, already, it's got a heat shield on it, which is kind of cool. Um, so anyway, I'll sit y'all up here while I raise that engine up a little bit. You notice the front of the engine's coming up first, which means it's Charlie. Which means I got more I, my balance is off. Maybe I need to move this pole back one. Try to get this level because it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot easier to work with if it's not off balance. So Take much to move that bolt. Well, I was gonna shoot some more screws up there too. Yeah. Back on my protocol here a little bit. Both of those things. I might uh, I might turn y'all off while I do that. this in that engine stand that will make it a lot easier now before I do that I'm going to take this piece down here loose drop it down so I can put these bolts in down here um, these should be 9 sixteenths that should come off there pretty easy I like this little stand quite a lot Stand actually came with this motor when I bought this motor. I think it's a pretty cool little setup for a Chevy motor. So now I should be able to get this into that. So I'm set it up the same way I did the other one over there. Uh, but I'll put a little wall. It looks like I've already got some wall. Let me get on to it. Put this in here like this, and just like this. And put a big washer and then put a, a little, I mean a big nut and a little nut. And thread this into that. So, it looks like these bolts are bottoming out just before they get to the point where they really snug that up. So, I'm going to want to put another washer, and I can actually put a washer either up here or back here on this just to get this out a little more. I'm going to need to do it on each one of these. So, that's not too difficult, but I might want to turn the camera off while I go find you some washers to use and then come back. So that y'all aren't just sitting here while I go and look for that. Holy joy. Of the bat, and this flywheel should still turn freely. Uh, I can uh, take a screwdriver on there and spin it around a few notches so that you can see that it does. What I'm going to do after I pick it up and put it in there is I'm going to be putting a starter on it. So you can see this flywheel turning freely. Which is what we want. So, next thing I'm gonna do is pick this up, move all this out of the way. Bring this clip over here, put this into that. And then we can uh, kind of roll that over there, and that'll be our workspace. Uh, 
as we proceed to make it good. Now, I'll give you a tip about what I'm about to do. I always make sure you don't get feet under something like this when you're lifting it. No matter what you're lifting it with, you don't want it so that it falls down, it's going to land on your toe. That would be bad. Be real bad. By the way, these are valve covers that I split to make a thing to catch the oil with when you're adjusting the valves on a small box Chevy engine. You can put one of these on the low side and the rock arms shoot oil out. They won't run down in there. It saves you from having to use all the little flippy things to make, which also work. But I just want to come up with something different than that. I got one one bolt on this side of this thing over here. Now see what I just did? I put my hand under there. Don't ever do that. I should engine mount. Me not obeying my own my own state. That's how you do it. That seems like a pretty good place for that engine to sit. You see from this position. Be able to roll this around if I want to. I can use a little oil on it. 